guys if you're into bible prophecy things of scripture and looking at the things of the world and wondering what is going on this is the place for you this is where you will feel at home because there's many many things that are happening at the moment it's so hard to keep up with everything that's going on and um, prophetically and all the things that are happening in the world but these couple of different videos have been laying at my feet and i believe that these truly are signs and um, that the times are starting to change that we are coming ever so close to the return of christ it's very hard to ignore these signs what I want you to do, like I always ask, is to watch the full thing in its full context to get an understanding, but know that the return of Christ is very near. Also, what I always ask is smash that like button and get this out to as many as possible. And if you're a first time here, if it's your first time um, to Prophecy Unfolded, consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. Have a look at this. When I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, so that we penetrate the cabinet. And the title of this session, are we ready for a new world order? I think you need a, a new world order that China has to be part of the process of creating it and they have to buy in, they have to own it the same way as let's say the United States owns the Washington consensus, the current order. In times of crisis, the role of governments is more important and more relevant than ever. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy not just the world economy, the world it occurs every three or four generations. But the, the, the system we have now has actually broken down, only we haven't uh, quite recognized it. And so you need to create a new one. And this is the time uh, to do it. And to look into constructive ways we can build our common future. Our futures are intrinsically connected to one another as, well, as the profound challenges to mankind such as climate change are globally interconnected and require collaborative responses. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to, there's going to be a new world order out there and we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. Arise the new world religion. The spirit of the false prophet is here.